Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support goes a long way. But what goes even further is a like. And what goes even further than that is a comment. So by all means, I'm going to leave the decision whether you do that or not up to you. But in this video, I bring you none other than Man Mountain, defensive tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles, Fletcher Cox. And if that doesn't pique your interest, then maybe this will. A quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this. Yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards. It's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45 day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets, the website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this around anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. Right. There ain't nothing left to do but to do it. So let's go. You saved him, 6 3. He can't block me 1 on 1. Y'all better get us some help. He's confident. He's up 10 spots. But I do want to see exactly what he's referring to here. So we've got. We've got 69, who's apparently unable to block him 1 on 1. So we get some help. Let's see what happened. Oh yeah. You saved him. You saved him, 6-3. He can't block me one on one. It was 6-3. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so that's coming up against number 69. Throws him off with ease. This is number 60. Who he's having who's having trouble with them all all game actually. And in fact, this must be the play that 63 comes in and assists rather well. You helped him. You saved him. Oh saved him, sorry. <laughs> you saved him, 6-3. He can't block me one on one. Y'all better get us some help. Tell you what, there's some energy out there. Man, Fletch, when he want to be Fletch, that boy is a monster. <laughs> because of how big he is and you don't even realize how he can move, man, can't nobody block Fletch. In 2020, Fletcher Cox was a quarterback sacking. Fletcher Cox has himself a rookie quarterback. Run stuffing. He gets wrapped up right away by. Let me let me predict pick six scoring. Fletcher Cox, block shedding machine. Ah. Just pushes him out of the way. 
who went sideline to sideline in a way few defensive tackles can. <laughs> oh, imagine if you got Fletcher Cox tracking across the field like a homing missile with one job and one job only to extinguish the run and put out the fire by way of smothering. He does have some real speed for his position and with that in mind, let's look up his stats. So Fletcher Cox is an American football defensive tackle, as we know. He's 30 years of age, he's 6 foot 4 and over 300 pounds. That's pretty damn big. He's actually a real veteran. He's been in the league since 2012, where he went pick number 12 in the first round to the Philadelphia Eagles, and he's been an Eagle ever since. At that size, 6 foot 4 and over 300 pounds, he ran a 40 yard dash in 4.79 seconds. He did 30 reps on the bench press. But not only that, he's got hands that measure 10 and a half inches, which so far is the largest we've seen on this list. But this is interesting. He went to Yazoo City High School in Yazoo City. Isn't Yazoo a game? No, that's Yahtzee. Yazoo was part of Ratchet and Clank. Let me look that up. Yazoo video game. Nope, I'm well and truly off track there. So Yazoo City High School, right. Believe it or not, this man who now weighs over 300 pounds was on the Yazoo High track and field team where he competed in the high jump and in the relays. At the 2009 Division 3 4A meet, he placed 8th in the high jump with a leap of 174. In relays, he had a personal best time of 44.32 seconds in the 4x100 meter relay and 1 minute 32.63 seconds in the 4x200 meter relay. Now, if that didn't surprise you, then this should. He was also credited with a 4.47 second time in the 40 yard dash in high school. 447. Regarded as a four star recruit by national recruiting website Rivals.com, he was rated as the number five weak side defensive end in the country and the number two prospect in the state of Mississippi. He was also considered uh, the number 17 defensive end prospect in the country by Scout.com. So he was certainly seen as being in the top 20 defensive ends in the country. He did choose to attend MSU over scholarship offers from LSU, Alabama, Auburn and Ole Miss. Well, there's, uh, there's a fair few good options there. <laughs> well, seeing as Fletcher Cox does still uh, run a 40-yard dash of under 4.8 seconds, I'm going to assume that there's a fair few quarterbacks out there that aren't even as fast as Fletcher Cox. So when, when we see a situation like this, it's not looking good for Wilson. He covers up about two, three gaps, so then he disrupts plays. Even if he's not getting to the quarterback, he's disrupting everything up front. I mean, he's probably the strongest defensive tackle in the game. I'll tell you what. As far as a battle, as far as a one-on-one -on -one battle is concerned between linemen, have a look at this. Even if he's not getting to the quarterback. Look at this. This is beast against beast. Let's be fair. It's like two bulls going up against each other. One with an eagle's helmet, one with a giant's helmet. Green against blue. Beast against beast. Have a look at it. He's disrupting everything up front. Have a look at it. And it finally comes to a standstill. He does end up protecting his quarterback. But it's a big mess in there. And one of the main reasons is Fletcher Cox. I mean, he's probably the strongest defensive tackle. And in the end, he gets an assisted tackle. On the game. Even if you don't be careful, he's going to put you right on your butt. Or is that considered half a sack? Just pushes him like he's 150 pounds. I think when you really look at guys like Fletcher Cox, it's this new era of now, not so much these edge rushers, but the interior guys creating immediate pressure in the quarterback's face. That's really where they're making their money. He can be a nightmare for guards that haven't had the opportunity to play him. Fletcher Cox makes his big, powerful presence. Built. What? <laughs> he, got a f he stripped the ball. He stripped the ball facing backwards. Opportunity to play him. Fletcher Cox makes his big, powerful present. Well, actually, he might have had a bit of a swipe at the ball, but... Well. Either way. Oh, my God! Yeah. Either way, Eagles ball. What a play! Ladies and gentlemen, what a play! AJ. Okay, I've been knowing AJ since my sophomore year of high school. This one's going to be even more interesting. DK Metcalf talking about AJ Brown, his college teammate. Uh, One-sixth of the 
incredibly viral uh, picture that was taken in the, the weights room. You guys remember that photo? You do, don't you? So it should be a cracker. Anyways, guys, that's that. Fletcher Cox uh, enters the building, and it was very entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Hit the like button if you did, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys, and have a great day.